Hello, it's October 24th, 2023. This is Dr. Dan Lieberman, and I'm super excited to come to you today because I get to talk to you about a potential cure, not just a potential cure, which would be good enough, but a potential cure for a really nasty disease for which up till now, we've had almost no treatment. I mean, this is like a serious, great, great development. First reported in Nature Medicine, an extremely, extremely prominent journal, great journal. I mean, honestly, the very, very top tier. So hopefully reliable and super interesting. It's a study out of Russia. Hang on, and I'll tell you more about it. Well, the Nature Medicine article today is uh, from a group in Russia, and it's a combination of some basic science, you know, animal studies, chemical, chemistry, basic laboratory kinds of work, as well as a single subject human trial. That's a human trial with only one person in it. Probably not how we do it here in the U.S., but maybe that's how they roll in Russia. Anyway, fascinating uh, stuff. Let's start with the disease. It's ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is this really bizarre condition. We've known for a long time the genetics of it. It's linked to a mutation on this HLA-B27. And this allele, this gene, encodes for something we've known for a long time that ultimately goes wrong and leads to a condition of arthritis. But it's a weird arthritis. It's an arthritis where ankylosis, the fu automatic fusion, fusion together of the entire spine, our spine is normal, a series of vertebrae, normally a series of vertebrae. In ankylosing spondylitis, it becomes just one long vertebral body. That's one is fused to the next. They even have a word for it on x-ray. They call it bamboo spine, the bamboo spine. It, it's very painful, and it often starts in your 20s and 30s. It affects men because of its genetics. The, one of the first symptoms, in addition to the lack of range of motion in the spine, is pain in the sacroiliac joints, and that pain classically occurs in the morning. So you wake up with this, just this nasty pain where the butt in your butt in the back pocket of your jeans, and it's very hard to work your way through it. You ultimately get an x-ray, you get diagnosed, this progresses. It's just such a horrible disease. Now, the great idea that these Russians had was they said, hey, this is obviously an autoimmune disease. This weird gene is causing some kind of an autoimmune response. And research actually showed a pretty likely target. There are B cells and T cells. These are part of our immune system, which target a very specific antigen. And there was a lot of, of suspicion on the part of the researchers that this was the cause of ankylosing spondylitis. So they did something that was super clever. They infused an immunoglobulin that went after those abnormal cells. Ah, very clever. So the idea is you infuse an immune agent which is going to attack the body's cells that are attacking the body that is causing the arthritis. You with me? I know it's like a big double negative, but so they did one infusion and they were able to knock out these bad cells in those monkeys for a period of three to four months. They treated a single human being. Now, this guy, when he started treatment, was about 56, 57 years old. He'd had ankylosing spondylitis since his 20s. He'd undergone many, many treatments, including a total hip replacement. He'd been on anti-tumor necrosis factor. He'd been on all these very, very dirty, very complicated drugs for it. And they all worked, kind of, but he was still miserable, still getting progressive deformity, and still in pain every single day. They gave him one shot of this immunoglobulin infusion. It has to go in through an IV. But they gave him one infusion, and he was pain-free 10 days later, and it lasted for about three months. When the pain came back, but they then uh, gave him another infusion, and then just every three months for four years, they kept giving him an infusion, and this guy became pain-free. Pain-free is phenomenal, but he also got greater range of motion. He was able to start being more physically active. I mean, it really was as if the disease was arrested in, his, in this individual. Now, this is one out of one, but the good part of this is, first of all, 
it just makes complete sense. Based on the current understanding of the disease, this is just as positive uh, early uh, information as we could possibly get. So it makes complete sense, and, and that is not always the case, right? And so super, super good. Second, and this is the thing I just love about this, the technology that's needed to develop these antibodies and do these infusions, this stuff's off the shelf. This has been around forever, and we know it works. We know it's specific. Uh, we know that this can be reproduced in other locations. So there's really no reason why animal and possibly even human studies couldn't begin in pharmacologic in our drug companies almost immediately, if not immediately. So people, this is just great news. I can tell you as a doctor, whenever you have to tell somebody they have a disease that for which there's really very little treatment, it kind of, it's heartbreaking. Uh, it, it's obviously life changing for them and that's horrible, but it just feels so bad and so horrible. And I always kind of, in my 20 years of medical practice, I always tried to console myself by saying, you know, if I ever hear about anything that could work for this, I'm gonna make sure that this guy finds out or this gal finds out. And I'll tell you right now, that's what I'm doing here today. I'm using this social media to tell you there's something coming. I'm extremely excited about this. It's not available today, but you need to pay attention. You need to look for trials. You need to talk to your rheumatologist about it. Check out my website, bestpracticehealth.tv. I've got a write-up on this. Look up ankylosing spondylitis. Go get the original paper that was published in Nature Medicine today and show it to your rheumatologist. We need to get people treated and cause as much, as much of a ruckus as we can to get this treatment out of there.